Today, I will build a DIY LED aircraft strobe light circuit using a PC817 optocoupler. First, I will carefully straighten all four pins of the optocoupler so that it can be easily placed and soldered on the board. The PC817 is a very useful electronic component that provides isolation between different parts of a circuit and is often used in switching and control systems. Next, I will apply a small amount of solder to each pin. Now, this is a 220 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, which will act as a timing element in our circuit. I will solder its negative leg to the first pin of the optocoupler and its positive leg to the third pin. This capacitor helps in charging and discharging, which creates the blinking or strobe effect for the LED. Next, I will solder a 1 kilo ohm resistor between the positive leg of the capacitor and the second pin of the optocoupler. This resistor controls the current flow into the optocoupler, protecting it from excessive current and ensuring stable operation. After soldering, I will trim the extra pins for a neat and professional look. Now, let's move to the LED. This will act as the strobe light itself. I will bend the negative pin of the LED, trim it short, and then bend the positive pin for proper alignment. I will solder the negative pin of the LED directly to the fourth pin of the optocoupler. This connection allows the LED to blink whenever the optocoupler switches. Next, I will take a 10 kilo ohm resistor and solder it between the first pin of the optocoupler and the positive pin of the LED. This resistor further controls the current supplied to the LED, ensuring that it doesn't burn out and blinks at the correct brightness. Once again, I'll trim the extra pins for safety and neatness. Now it's time to add power connections. I will solder the positive wire of the circuit to the positive pin of the LED and the negative wire to the second pin of the optocoupler. This ensures proper powering of both the optocoupler and the LED in the circuit. Finally, I will bring in a 9 volt battery to power the project. As soon as I connect the battery, the LED begins to blink automatically, just like aircraft strobe lights. The capacitor charges and discharges repeatedly, while the resistors and optocoupler control the blinking cycle, giving a rhythmic strobe effect. This simple project beautifully demonstrates how timing circuits work using capacitors, resistors, and optocouplers. The blinking LED effect can be used not only for aircraft strobe light simulations, but also in decorative lighting, DIY night lamps, warning indicators, science projects, and even as a fun way to learn about electronics. If you want to make your DIY projects more exciting, you can even try experimenting with different resistor and capacitor values to change the blinking speed of the LED. So, what do you think of this strobe light effect? Would you like me to create a version with multiple LEDs for a more realistic aircraft lighting system?